Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Code Circuit. In this tutorial, I will be going on with the next topic of our Selenium playlist with Java. So this will be about how you can automate the Brave browser. Okay. So before starting with the video, I would like to request all of you, whoever is watching this video, to please like and share our videos. And also, I want to thank all of you who have been supporting us from a long time now. Okay, and also if you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. Thank you. So let's get started. As I said, today's topic will be browser automation on Brave browser. Before that, we need to have the Brave browser installed in our system. I have it installed as you can see here. This is the Brave browser. Let me open this for you. This is the icon as you can see on my desktop. So this is how it looks like and there are many benefits of using the Brave browser. The Brave browser actually stops all unnecessary ads from your browser and you can enjoy your privacy while you were surfing something on the internet and etc etc. So suppose you were surfing a YouTube video, you will not get any ads in that. So that is the best advantage of using the Brave browser and it is lightweight and very fast compared to other browsers like Chrome and all. Okay. So in order to download and install this, what you can do is, I will show you in any other browser, let me open Chrome. Here what you can do is, you can say Brave Browser and press enter. This is the first link that you get here, click on this. It will take you to this URL, which is having the option you can see here, take back your online privacy. So that means, you can easily access anything you want in the internet and without even hampering your privacy. So whatever you view your passwords, all these things will be private to you. You don't have to worry one bit about that. This is one of the very important features of Brave Browser. And suppose you are opening YouTube, you will not get any ads. You can skip all the ads that are coming in YouTube. That is also one very good advantage of using the Brave Browser. Okay, so you can download it by clicking on this link. I have already done it. So I'm not going to do it again. See, this is how you can do it. I already have it. Okay, so I'm not going to do it again. Let me close this thing. So I just wanted to show you how you can do it. And let me close this. And let us go back to our ID. And here I will show you how you can automate the Brave browser. Okay, so in our last video, we saw how we can handle windows in selenium so we can get the current window handle as you can see here we can also get open a new window we can open a new tab so new window means it will be a totally different browser we can open a new tab in the same browser and you can switch between tabs or windows that also you can do i have showed all these things in the earlier video and so this one, as I said, I will be showing you how to automate the Brave browser. And then we will go on and see how we can automate, say, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer and Firefox. The first thing that is very important is I want to show you how to automate the Brave browser because that is a little bit different from the other ones. So already, you know, in this first automation test, if you see here, we have already automated the Google Chrome browser. The steps are very simple and for all the other browsers like Firefox browser, Edge browser or maybe Internet Explorer, it's very simple. You just have to download that particular browser's drivers and you can easily do the automation of those particular browsers. It's very simple. But for Brave, it is a little bit critical and very important. A little bit different from the other browsers automation okay so i want to start with that and gradually by gradually we will go on to the other browser automations so we have been doing that in google let's try with the brave browser and then we will see how we can do for firefox and maybe internet explorer and edge in the next videos okay of this playlist so let me create a new package so that i can manage all my similar test cases in the same package okay so let me write browser automations okay and press enter in this let me create a new java class say brave browser 
automation fine so this will be the name of our class and let me maximize the size of the screen a bit or the font a bit okay so I will start on with the basic things again so static web driver driver so if you don't know why I'm writing all this you can obviously go back to the previous videos of this playlist and learn that okay I am creating a static web driver because I can call it without creating any object for that it's very easy and statically if you do something it is for better memory management I'm just giving you a brief intro about that so after that let me create my main method and then let me delete the space here and I can do one more thing so first thing first first we have to set the property of our browser that we want to automate okay so we can simply write system dot set property I have already explained all these things in the earlier videos so here I am automating brave browser so you should also keep that in mind that brave browser automation is similar to chrome browser okay there is no extra driver for brave browser the chrome driver that you have for google chrome will be used for the brave browser it's absolutely the same there is no change okay so here it will take two parameters the first one is web driver dot chrome dot driver and the second parameter will be the location to the particular browser driver so as you can see here I have already done that in my earlier videos this is the driver okay so simple thing first we have to go to the current project so dot slash and then I will say drivers folder again slash I will simply write chrome driver dot exe okay that's it so I'm done with this let me close the project panel so that I can have a proper and zoomed view of everything here so that you people can analyze properly okay now the next thing that we need to do is we have to do some changes or write some commands so that we can tell our JVM that we are trying to automate the Brave browser because for Chrome you already know I have shown you here you can see here this is simple we just tell our code that we are trying to automate the Chrome browser and we just say we give the path to the Chrome driver.exe that's all and we instantiate our static web driver to the Chrome driver and we open any URL by using the driver.get or we have other options like driver.navigate.2 also and finally we are quitting the browser but in case of Brave browser automation the things are a little bit different so first thing first what we have to do is we have to create an object of the Chrome options okay so here we can create an object like this Chrome options options equal to you already know this right how to create an object new chrome options and in this options object we have to give the path of our downloaded brave browser setup file or the exe file okay for that we need to go to our drive wherever we have installed our brave browser and so you need to remember that guys it's very important wherever you have installed your brave browser so I remember that I have installed it in my C drive in program files and you can see it is brave software here I'm double clicking on that I'm opening this brave browser application and here you can see I have the brave.exe okay let me just increase the size here view large icons you can see this is the brave.exe this is the executable file of our brave browser okay so if you press if you simply right click on this you will not get the option of path in your windows 10 but just because i have windows 11 in my system so i'm getting this option copy as path okay so i will just click on this for windows 10 or users for lesser versions of windows what you can do is you can just press shift and again after that you can right click and get the option copy as path here okay for windows 10 users i'm telling this 
but for windows 11 we have this inbuilt here the feature has come automatically if i right click here i will get this path like this okay i'm copying the path so i'll go back now to my intellij okay so here i will use the options object or the instance and i will give a code a command there is a method called set binary and here i have to give the path to my brave browser wherever it is installed okay so i will just paste it like this control v okay you can see here i have done that let me reduce the size a little bit you can see that there are some extra codes that have come let me just correct it like this okay this is corrected and in this side also i have to correct this like this okay now it is corrected so make sure that your path is inside double quotes and it looks like this okay so this part is done now the next thing that we have to do is we have to instantiate our driver so i can just say driver is equal to new chrome driver because as i said brave browser also opens with the help of the chrome driver only okay so i will use the chrome driver class now please understand this this is very important if you don't pass anything in the constructor here then it will open the chrome browser but here if we pass the option object like this then it will automate the brave browser i will repeat again if you don't pass this object here then it will normally work like we are opening the google chrome browser but if we pass the options object here or the instance here then it will automate the brave browser okay so suppose here i am passing a url say driver dot get and i'm passing a url say http colon double forward slash www dot selenium dot dev okay because we are learning selenium i am trying to automate selenium only okay so after that let me try to get the url also so the url is always a string so string url is equal to i will use my driver instance dot i will say get current url okay this will be stored here and let me just say s out the current url is i will just concatenate the url variable here that's all okay so my target is i am trying to store the url i have already shown all these things in my earlier videos you can just check that if you have any doubts i will give the link to the playlist and the previous videos in the description for you you don't have to worry about that okay so let's go and try some other things suppose i want to get the title so what i can say is i will say string title is equal to driver dot get title this is the option as you can see here i am using the web driver instance and i have a method called get title it will get the title of that particular web page okay so i can simply say s out title of the page is plus concatenating the title object or variable okay now here i will just say driver dot quit because now you know that quit removes or closes all the instances that are active right now and if we use driver or close it will only close the current instance i could have used close but i'm happy with using the quit option here okay so this is it guys so let us try to run this and see what happens now okay and i will also show you if i don't pass this what happens so let me run this okay you can see brave has been opened and it closed okay so it was very fast right so let me just do one thing let me give a sleep of around three seconds so that we can see that and i will put an exception to the method signature so that we can get rid of the exception okay so we can handle the exception right now let me run this again and let's see here you can see it opened selenium.dev and after three seconds it will close the browser and it was successful 
and if you just see here the current url is selenium dot dev this is the url that we are automating whatever we have written here we have got this here from the browser and also the title of the page is selenium okay so in order to be 100 percent sure about that let me just do one thing let me comment this quit method here right now let me run this and let's see if we are really able to do that or not you can see here the url is selenium.dev and the title is selenium as you can see here okay so it's working perfectly fine and that's okay and now as i told you earlier let us remove this options object from the bracket of the constructor here and let us run this again and let's see what happens now okay right click and run this now that we have not given that you can see it is opening chrome browser you can see here if i maximize this you can see chrome is being controlled by automation test software so this is google chrome simple google chrome okay so as i said if we don't pass this options object inside the constructor it will not automate the brave browser it will automate the google chrome browser as normally the chrome driver does okay so let me repeat it first thing first we have to use the chrome options class and we have to create an object of the chrome options class after that we have to set the options and the binary path should be given of the brave.exe file that you will get after installation of your brave browser okay let me just show you here as i showed you wherever you have installed your brave browser you will get the brave.exe executable file you just have to copy the path and come back here and paste it okay and after that you instantiate your driver to chrome driver as usual you do it but inside the constructor you pass the options object okay after that everything is same no problem at all and let me remove the driver.quit because it is not required right now let us run this again and let's see okay now you can see it's opening in brave browser you can see this is brave okay let me just again run this once again let me comment this and uh, let me run this uh, so that i can verify properly okay you can see here this is brave browser as you can see the logo and the icons are changed fine so as i told you if you don't use this options object inside the constructor of the chrome driver it will automate google chrome browser but if you use the object after setting the binary path of the brave.exe executable file then it will automate the brave browser okay so that's it and the other things are pretty simple and similar to what we have done earlier so this is it guys about the video i have shown you how to automate the brave browser so it is a little tricky so in the interviews people ask questions on that because it is a little bit different than the automation of the other browsers okay so i will try to bring other videos of the automations of say firefox edge and internal explorer we have already done for chrome so that's very simple i will try to bring the automation test cases for the other browsers in the next videos so i hope you have liked this video if you have any doubts regarding this video please 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 don't forget to share your doubts in the comment section i will be very happy to clarify all your doubts and if you like this video please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family and also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon that is very very important because that will help you to get notifications about our future uploads okay so thank you guys happy learning i'm signing off thanks a lot bye bye